Hello my soccer universe and welcome to a big review for the Premier League. I mean, not only do we have to make up kind of two rounds, but there were also so many makeup games. It's hard to lose track uh, in that sense. I think we also had a draw for an FA Cup tie. So yeah, kind of mishy mashy everything. And uh, the the one thing that I have is if we're going to do a review over two weeks, it is so interesting how the narrative changes, because uh, if I would have been able to do one, I would have basically said, yeah, United is all over and done for. And then they come back this weekend and beat a, admittedly, very uh, inconsistently consistent, you know, win-loss, win-loss, win-loss Spurs. Uh, thanks to Ronaldo Hattrick, uh, who also has been called that. So, you know, uh, things change all around. The one thing that has been, though, really, really consistent is these guys here uh, with Arsenal having win after win after win and looking really, really strong at this moment to fetch uh, the fourth spot in the table, uh, which is a pretty big one. The only caveat I have to say there, yes, three games in hand, but they're all against big opponents. And one is, calm, is coming up already with Liverpool, then you have to play Chelsea, and then you have to play Spurs. I guess the one, the, the three points against Spurs, I'm almost willing to give our Arsenal. But the way Spurs have been performing in big games, it's also, it's, it's kind of, you don't know uh, how, how to say. But Arsenal actually looking really, really good. They definitely have a good momentum going. So uh, that's definitely a big one. But to me... The biggest story is, and you kind of see it already up there with Chelsea and Ukraine hanging next to each other, uh, Ch that Chelsea is now a frozen asset. Uh, because, you know, the UK government decided, okay, Roma de Brown, which is too closely related with the Russian government. However, that may, weigh, uh, may be, uh, definitely he made his wealth uh, by being closely connected uh, to the Russian government. But how his ties are, are at, at the moment, I'm not able to judge. But I find it a very interesting situation and uh, almost, you know, I don't want to say unfair because you know, I understand why they're doing it. But the fact that you have a huge team, uh, they cannot sell any tickets. Their sponsor is going to get away. They only can spend a certain amount of money on for each away game. And then uh, marketing, yes, uh, here are the expenses that you can have um, for to having a normal game. Uh, or to finish the season, I found this rather, rather, rather weird. Uh, so, yeah, <clears throat> I'm not sure where I stand on all this, to, to be honest. I actually think what really is, to me, a big question uh, or a proper, a proper effect, effect like that, you're not necessarily hurting even the players. I think uh, not running the club store on match day, you're hurting employees there. What, from what I hear is, uh, is more or less now a fire sale going up for Chelsea and Chelsea is looking to get sold as quickly as possible to resolve the situation. However, on the other side, uh, you gotta make it that Abramovich doesn't make any profit from that sale, which, yeah, this is gonna be also an interim. But for me, this is almost the most interesting situation and one that I think will have an impact, not from what we saw now. I mean, the first game uh, that they had with, uh, in that configuration was last weekend where tickets had already been sold. But I can definitely see that this might uh, take a while to get resolved and we will see uh, very soon what the implication of that will be. Okay, well, after all this Chelsea talk, let's go into uh, some games that we have to re review. Um, it started actually with Leicester, who sneakily was gaining quite a few points lately until they lost to Ar Ar Arsenal. 2 0 win over Burnley, uh, which basically means that Burnley is getting, uh, you know, Burnley slowly is moving towards re re relegation and, 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 and there were more games like this. I mean, they lose the loss then 4 0 at home to Chelsea. Um, Leicester beating a Leeds team uh, uh, first game under Chelsea in March. That was, uh, you know, uh, kind of a lucky win, one has to say. Uh, Newcastle, another team, and you see them up, up, up there, that is a completely transformed team. Huge win for Brentford over Norwich. Brentford actually had uh, the overall best performance over the, uh, these past two weeks. 
because they really rid themselves more or less out of relegation or they would had two six pointers there uh crystal palace two nil over uh wolves then i saw the liverpool against west ham game where yes liverpool got the win but to be honest uh that was a very 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 hard fought win uh our arsenal um i think it was more clear than the final results is three two over watford although watford is also getting something going at the moment however the big one was definitely manchester city uh, against united where uh at the in the first half i think it was a rather open back and forth game uh with you know uh City take take it lead through the Bruyne, but uh, with more or less the first counter, Jaden Sancho scoring uh, the goal, uh, the equalizer uh, right there after the Bruyne again. But then Sancho could have made it to two. It was a rather open game, and the big story, of course, there was uh, no Cavani and no Ronaldo. Uh, Ronaldo seemingly in Portugal uh, without clubs. So it seemed a whole lot of mess at that point uh, for for United, and it did not help that in the second half, United just did not show up. And uh, I think the uh, Mares late on made it uh, a higher scoreline, but this could have been even more nasty at that point. So uh, you really thought uh, there's trouble brewing in Manchester. Uh, very Spurs easily dispose of Everton, and Everton is one, one team where you definitely have to look into and think, yeah, uh, this is a team that is seriously, seriously in trouble there. So yeah. Uh, moving on then, uh, we had so many makeup games that I've got to just rattle them off. We had Wolves beating uh, Watford 4-0, so that's, uh, that was, was a big one. Then um, Southampton losing at home to Newcastle 2-1. As I said, Newcastle actually uh, really seems to be a totally uh, changed team. Then uh, Villa completely rolling over Leeds United uh, so that was uh, you know uh, Jesse Marsh is having kind of a rough start first you lose a game that you looked quite well then you definitely do not look good against Villa so yeah we have to see where uh, this will will be going um, and then Chelsea actually from this is already a pulled game from the uh, round on on the weekend will uh, won then three won the Norwich so you know Chelsea getting their points so uh, this was kind of the day I think where the first sanctions came uh, but then heading into the weekend <laughs> I have so many things here. Uh, it started out with Liverpool beating Brighton 2-0. Uh, where Luis Diaz scores the first goal where the goalkeeper actually has to be sent off. Um, hard fought, but over, over an e easy win. Then Brentford, pretty big win, 2-0 over Burnley. I think Brentford with that secured uh, their spot. And then the big Ronaldo show, 3-2 over Spurs. He scores a hat-trick. All three goals is always a goal that the goal had 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 goal. Harry Maguire uh, also scored an own goal. Uh, almost want to say tipped it typically, but I have to say the quality of Ronaldo's goals were really really good, and it was a kind of all these different. Um, Phases of, of his career rolled in, in into one. The first goal, a long range, range shot like he did in his early years. And the second one was kind of this poacher's goal where uh, the builder play re really nice and you tap it in because you find the right spot, what he did at Real Madrid. And then the last one, a typically Ronaldo header that uh, actually... Uh, it was his uh, trademark at Juventus. So uh, you get his career in one game. Uh, I think at the same time, and I don't, because I don't ca care about this record. He beat Be Pepe Beacon uh, now for the all-time goal-scoring record. Blah 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 blah. We all know that this is uh, stupid to even compare these periods, but it's very important for Ronaldo. Uh, so yeah, pretty big win for E49 because that keeps them in the top four race and probably eliminates Spurs. I actually thought that this game is probably headed for for a draw, and overall on the ballot balance of play, I think it would have been the deserved result. Um, Spurs definitely should have probably gotten something out of that that one, but pretty big win for United. Oh, actually, Carl, Carl, Miguel nerves, and you know you have Ronaldo there uh, as a very rather nasty byproduct. Probably, guess, of course, Tom Brady was in a sense. He saw Ronaldo, yeah, and he is now unretiring. <sighs> I was, I was so happy to finally be rid of this guy. Nah. He stays in there, but makes the NFL still because you need some hate figure there. Um, Chelsea I had a really tough time against Newcastle. As I said, Newcastle is a team transformed. Um, Kai Havertz 
potentially should have been sent off. I think it was just about all right, uh, but I can see. This was what we call in Germany a dark yellow card. Um, but then the, score, the goal he scores uh, to give Chelsea the win uh, in the 89th, I mean, what a beauty. First of all, brilliant pass from Jorginho. But the way Havertz takes the ball down, I mean, he dead with one little touch of his leg. No bounce whatsoever. And then uh, in the next touch, putting it in the internet, uh, absolutely brilliant, wonderful goal. Something like that you don't see very, very, very often. Uh, Everton looking really good, bad now, losing to Wolves. Leeds United with a, a win. Rather lucky win against Norwich. Yes, they had the lead for a long time, uh, but in stoppage time, McLean e e equalizes, and then uh, Gelhardt, who just had come, come on, scores the win in the nine in the 94th big shot in the arm for Leeds United, uh, who need a little bit uh, to uh, in the in this relegation fight, especially since Watford won at Southampton. That's a, a result that came also out, out of nowhere. West Ham two one over Aston Villa, a pretty good win. Um, uh, for for them, but I think it's too little for the top four race. But I think a uh, Europa League spot is definitely in there for West Ham. Then Arsenal against Leicester. I, I actually watched most of the, that game. And yeah, while Leicester had good chances towards the end of the first half, overall it was a complete Ar Arsenal performance again. Uh, and you know, I actually start enjoying watching our, our Arsenal. I, I really made an effort. I said, uh, Arsenal is in on a good run. Let's really watch them again. And yeah, this looked like a team that is starting to gel. So uh, good, good on them. And you know, Aaron Ramsdale with a, a wonderful save uh, there. As I said, it looks like a complete team. The penalty though to make it 2-0 was a little bit, yeah, I know by the let let of Lund, you see that there is a diff 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 deflection, but um, yeah, I think even if it doesn't touch it, uh, the ball is not going in. But by the lad of the law, it's a penalty. And then yesterday, Crystal Palace fight and get a nil-nil against Manchester City. So another points dropped, which means we potentially have now a title race. Because should Liverpool win against Arsenal, which for me is not, not a given, but it allows Liverpool to actually drop points against Arsenal as well. And you're still in the running because you have the head-to-head -head where you can catch up. And at the moment, Liverpool even has the better goal difference. So uh, I think think we may have a title race at hand. I still would take Manchester City. I'm very consistent. Even my model says so. It's still 70% Manchester City. Because you have the home game against Liverpool. And I think it is very likely that this game will end up in a, in a draw. As for the top four, Arsenal look pretty. But as, as I said, they have, the makeup games are rather, rather tough. They're all top opponents. But I could see them making four points out of that one, and then that 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 would mean they have a five-point cushion already at Manchester United. So um, I think it's pretty much uh, packed on that Arsenal will get this fourth spot because they have been the most consistent team. Although we have seen turnarounds there as as well. I think the more overall the better quality by squad is definitely at United. So um, that will be a game. I'm not sure. I think our Arsenal still have to play United, so that would be a very interesting one. On the bottom, as I said, Brentford and Newcastle have relieved themselves of all the pressure. I mean, New Newcastle at the moment is only one one percent chance of going down. Brentford a three percent chance. Leeds United and Everton. If you're a fan of those two big teams, I think you're sweating. Burnley still has a bunch of makeup games, but so do Everton. But Everton really don't look good at the moment, and Watford is keep getting points but you know um we saw or already with norwich they also had a peer period of a month a month ago where it seems like maybe they can get out of it and now no not really so um while it is easy to say it's watford burnley norwich i think leeds everton are not sleeping easily and it might well be that we lose a pretty big team uh for this season um, coming up on the weekend, we actually have uh, FA Cup uh, ties, which kind of uh, really take out many games. We have uh, Middlesbrough against Chelsea, we have Crystal Palace against Everton, we have Southampton against Man City, and we have uh, Nord Nottingham against Liverpool. Um, I, I, I think at this moment it doesn't even help Everton much that they have to play this XS game because I think some work on the uh, off the pitch would help them uh, big time. I think. 
it is very much sad, sad up that we have a big team final uh, with Chelsea, Manchester City, Liverpool still in the running. Yes, they have to go all the way from home. But I think uh, every everything is set up uh, for for them to go uh, there. And other than that, uh, well, well, what do we have on the weekend with Wolves against Leeds? Uh, big one for the relegation. We have Aston Villa uh, against Arsenal. Arsenal in the midweek also play against Liverpool. I think is a pretty big uh, game. And Leicester against Brentford uh, and Spurs against West Ham. I think that would be who goes Europa League. So rather interesting stuff there. I have to say. Um, at the beginning of the year, I thought the Premier League is rather uninteresting. It's only the top four is now. I every key battlefield we have an interesting situation. I think that makes it truly at the moment the best league to watch and the best league uh, also in quality overall. So that's always exciting. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel to see more videos like these. And I'm surely gonna talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell, so in order to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe.